My name is Gabriel Jolie, which is a French name. Uh, I'm 15. I live in Quebec, Canada. And so my story before joining a dentist school was I, you know, since I'm pretty young, I was actually struggling with what I should do in life as well as, you know, most kids my age. And, I, you know, I was looking around, buying books, buying courses and trying to find my way through, you know, just normal life. Mm -hmm. And one of my main struggles was since I'm so young, do I need to have a girlfriend since I'm seeing everyone around me getting girlfriends, getting crushes, you know, going out. And I was like, well, you know, am I in the wrong for not having one? Am I in the wrong for like not finding the same girl's heart as my friends do? Like I was feeling kind of out of place. And my friends were not really helping since they were kind of like not really in the same mindset as me because they're not my friends anymore. Mm -hmm. And so when I asked them questions, they would just answer me with the most normal, normal degenerate answer like, oh yeah, you absolutely need one or else you'll be like a reject or, you know, just dumb stuff. Yeah. And therefore I look, started looking at actually what I thought was good. So like feminine woman or should I go out with women who take drugs and stuff like that? Because at my age, most of them actually do. It's not really spoken about, but it's kind of common for women at my age to actually be low value. So yeah, I started looking around around that and started questioning myself, started making a bit of progress, but I always felt like something was holding me back, slowing my progress. Like I couldn't have conversations with someone IRL because I didn't really know anybody who had the same opinions as me. And so the only way that I could find information was by watching videos, but that was not really personal. So not really a lot of people could help me with my personal situation, more like general advice. And so that's when I actually stumbled upon Adonis School and, you know, Hamza's content. Uh, at the beginning, I was like extremely surprised by how much I was agreeing with everything that he was saying. So it was like a relief of, oh, finally, I found someone who thinks like this. And, you know, that was a bit before I, you know, Adonis School was even created. And so when it was, I saw the opportunity of being able to speak in someone one-on-one, -on -one, speaking to other people who think like me, having meeting calls. And, you know, I grabbed the opportunity and joined it on a school. Um, I definitely say that it was, you know, big of an investment for my age at least. And it was definitely worth it overall because with the amount of things that I learned and how much it has helped me right, with everything in my life, but more specifically my dating and relationship because... I was trolling with that the most and I had the most questions about that. So, you know, having someone to actually speak to IRL with other members of the community or community calls overall has it helped me the most. And so hold up, I you know, started asking around. I saw guys making posts about situations similar to mine. And I looked at the answers and I applied them in situations that I had, you know, the next day. And, well, it actually worked. So I was like, oh, finally, you know. So I make posts myself. So I joined calls. I started taking notes, taking advice. And I, you know, found my way through that. And now, well, I was always told before that my stands were, were always too high compared to, like, other guys my age. But I always, like, denied that and kept saying to myself that I actually deserved a woman like this since I want to become a great man I deserve a great woman which I think makes a lot of sense um, so seeing guys agree agreeing with me and giving me advice to persuade my journey in this direction was actually really good feeling and actually learning something that people were would recommend to me one-on-one -on, -one on my personal story instead of just saying general broad advice uh, was kind of a relief and didn't I think that that was what was missing before the personal touch of speaking to guys one on one and kind of having these conversations about my personal story and these guys really, you know, dedicating their time and their energy to helping me. That was the first time I was ever seeing that. I was always used to just people not really ignoring me, but, mm. you know, oh, yeah, you should do that. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. And, what kind of advice did they give you? Give me like a specific example. Well, that 
it's really like the mo woman that I should be looking for. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I wanted to become, you know, this and this, well, I should be looking for a woman who has similar goals, similar interests, or else, well, it would really work. Mm -hmm. And since a lot of women my age, at least right now, are like in their phase of going out, I was struggling like, most women I see like 99% of them are just like this. So should I just go out with one of them or should I keep my standards and just wait for the one? And, you know, I got my answer. And I mean, you can pretty sure you can know what it is. I kept my standards and just focused more on my purpose until I found one. Uh, I still haven't found one, but, you know, not giving up. Absolutely. So, yeah, I think the advice of keeping my standards was definitely like the most important. Fantastic. Tell me about your standards. Like how would you class a girl as high quality and feminine? Because you're right. There's so much societal pressure on young girls, especially nowadays that once they hit 15, 16, that if they don't go out and they don't party and they don't take alcohol or drugs, they're weird. When in actuality, if anything, that makes them, by not doing those things, it makes them more desirable because it shows they're serious about commitment, they're serious about a meaningful purpose in life. And you're right, it is really, really hard for young men out there to find someone that isn't just like everyone else, right? Yeah. So, so talk to me about what like the, are your top two or three criteria that if a girl had these, you would think, yep, she is a high quality feminine girl. I would like to have some kind of meaningful relationship with her. Well, I was not ready for that question. <laughs> it's got a deep question, um, isn't it? So definitely, you know, being feminine, so not having some sort of standards for her life, having some sort of value. Mm -hmm. So actually questioning herself, oh, oh, should I really do this? And agreeing with the fact that men should be masculine and women should be feminine, which I think is you no know, basic thing, but most women my age at least don't really understand that. That's why it's pretty rare to find one. So number one, yeah, being feminine. After that, I'd say not being afraid of judging others. So if I don't know, your best friend, like you've been a friend with him for like 10 years and he starts going down the like party path and taking drugs, being able and having you know, the courage to question him and yourself and why you're still with him. And I think that if you're not able to question yourself and your life, well, you won't really grow because you'll always just stay in the same place. So a, one, a woman that can actually question her surroundings and her friends and the value of other people around her can definitely help her and other people. Mm -hmm. So, and if I actually get in a relationship with someone who questions herself, well, she might actually start questioning me, would, would question, make me question myself with, you know, that's how you lead to growth and making better choices and, you know, just overall getting along, along in your journey. Mm -hmm. um, third point, kind of hard. Well, you know, just in general, at my age, if I found someone that doesn't go out partying and, well, you know, doesn't at all go out, it's pretty rare, but just in general, he is less degenerate than the rest. Mm -hmm. I would actually start taking interest and I would start questioning myself on why she's like this. And most of the time it's just because, well, they don't agree with people like this. When people start asking, why aren't you like going out? They just have their own opinion. So they're not afraid to say what they think. And overall, just... I don't know, stand their dang ground, standing their ground on their opinion, which is, I think is a really good quality. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I th I'm actually really proud of you that you didn't just follow what your friends were telling you. You know, you kept your standards high. You didn't give in to the instant gratification, which is just accepting what's out there. Because that's how you, how is that any different to having like a pornography addiction or a masturbation addiction when you just go for the easiest pick from the tree it's like you should always keep you as, as masculine men who want to be successful in life we should always keep our standards high why because we keep standards high for ourselves so anyone that wants to be part of our life they need to be on our on our level and mindset i have just one last question because you mentioned you know 
how much the community in the Donner School helped you, which is amazing. We have such like a strong brotherhood of young men, successful men who share like their advice and give like tailored feedback when somebody makes a post. Well, tell me about one more thing from the school that helped you. For instance, what about the coaching calls? Like I said, like, you know, I do the masculinity ones to make men strong minded and physically strong. Hamza does coaching calls on everything, dating, relationships, money, YouTube, dominance, so on. Then you've got like Leon who does them on Find Your Purpose. Tell me about that aspect or what about the courses that Hamza's put out? Was, did either of those really help you in your journey? And if so, how? Uh, well, definitely the courses and the calls. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the good points about the calls is they feel felt at least um, you know close and personal compared to like thousands of people watching the same videos inside of Adonis School. It's really like close brotherhood. So when you speak to someone, you actually feel a connection and you feel that they are understanding you and you understand them. And so having these calls, like you know you or whatever is teaching about something they actually like. Well, that brings like a personal touch to it. And afterwards, being able to ask the members of the calls, like if they enjoyed it, like their opinions on certain stuff that you weren't really sure about, that changes like compared to YouTube or any other platform, like you're a lot closer to the people inside. Mm -hmm. So for the calls, that would be it. But, you know, in general, just the overall value that we're getting in every single call is incredible. But for the community part, I think that's a really big plus. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And, I'll end on this final point because I like that you mentioned it, that it is really hard for young men or just men in general to find a partner nowadays. And it was a long time before I discovered the answer. And the answer is 99% of men are low value. They're low quality. They, they're basically degenerates. You know, they drink alcohol, they smoke weed, they don't work, or at least they don't have a purpose in life. 99% of women are, are degenerates as well. They go out partying, they, they do drugs, they have no aspirations in life apart from just having fun. But there is that 1% of women who genuinely are high quality feminine role models, someone that you could actually marry, right? Someone that has a spiritual side, that, that wants a husband, that wants someone to love and take care. But they're not interested in 99% of men. So if you're in the 99%, you're like 99% of men are, you will never find them. It's only when you as a man start taking charge, you start working on your own self-improvement, you start becoming more masculine, more dominant, stronger physically, mentally. When you become the 1%, the top 1% of man, that's when you start attracting the top 1% of women, which is essentially a woman that's fit to have your children. Like that's probably the greatest quality any girl could have and for her it would be a man that's fit to be her husband you know someone that will take care of her make her feel like a queen like a princess and so on so i always tell young men if you haven't found someone that does not mean that you give up and that certainly does not mean that you accept what's out there you continue working on yourself until you become the top one percent and then i guarantee you you will find a life partner who's worth being with. And that's literally what our mission is in at Honest School, is to make this generation, our generation of young men, strong again. Gabriel, thank you so much for your time, bro. It was an absolute pleasure speaking with you. So refreshing that you're only 15 years old and you have such a mature and masculine mindset. Thank you for your time, and I'm really excited to see you develop in Adonis School.